Well, good morning, guys. No, I'm not going to do a Bible teaching snippet today. I'm going to just encourage you and just talk for just a minute. I'm not going to pick up on yesterday's teaching. I am going to do one more of those because I want to cover all the little scriptures that we have about being born again and just kind of wrap that up a little bit. But today what I want to do is just encourage you, okay? You know, we are the light of the world. We have God's life living inside of us. And we, being believers, are the hope of God's glory coming to earth and being spread around to people. I've had this verse on my mind since I started this born again versus uh, being saved. Um, and I read to you John uh, 3.16. But I want to read it to you the way that the world hears it, okay? For God was so mad and hated the world that he sent his son to beat him and hang him and take out all his anger and wrath on him so that a few select people that God decided that he would let be saved could be saved and not be sent to hell. Now that's how the world reads this and this is a lot of times how I hear it preached from uh, the pulpit. But here's what the Bible really says, okay? For God the Father loved his entire creation with such a passionate love that he bankrupt heaven and he gave his most precious possession, his only son, his special son, Jesus, that whosoever, any person willing to believe that they would not perish, they would not come to a bad end or live a bad life, but that they would step into an everlasting life, that abundant life that Jesus gives. Now, I want to tell you what uh, the Bible, and I've told you this before, Jesus actually defined what eternal life is. Eternal life is that they might know the only one true God, the Father, and Jesus, the Messiah, who God the Father sent. Did you know when I go about, and people will ask me, what is so different about you? Oh, see, they shouldn't have asked me that, should they? Because I'm going to actually give them the real answer. I'm not going to go, oh, I'm just having a good day. Oh, hope, no, 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 no. I don't go out in camo, okay? I go out in the full power of God, and I let people know that I am a son of God and that my Father loves me. The first thing that I do is I just tell them, oh, well, I've been born again, and I have the Spirit of God living in me, and I am the light of the world. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. They ask you why you were different. Tell them the truth. I tell them it's because God's life is in me. I walk around on a different level than most people because I truly believe what Jesus says. And he says that I have eternal life and it starts the minute that I get born again. So I've been living in everlasting eternal life for almost 11 years. I've got a celebration coming up in November, don't I? Uh, but anyway, let me encourage you. Be honest and tell people. I have found the secret to life. You know, I, I like that song, uh, it was the secret of life. And different people, you should get on your phone and ask Siri what the secret of life is. It's amazing. She's got like three different answers to it. But let me tell you the secret of life. The secret of life is to know the one true God and Jesus, the one who sent him, and get the Spirit of God in you get baptized in the Holy Spirit, and you just start walking out and living this supernatural life that God intended us to live from the very beginning. Well, listen, I'm going to wrap this up. I, I do encourage you, listen, we should rejoice and be glad and not struggle and be sad. Okay, so God bless you, and I'm going to see you tomorrow, and I pray that you have an awesome day because I will, I assure you, I will have an awesome day, and I'll see you again right here on Facebook. Bye-bye.